Hey there, folks. This is Bobo the Vulture, and this is Let's Play Uncharted Waters New Horizons for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. It came for a variety of systems, but uh, as you recall last time, I, uh... Yeah. Made a little money. Selling ivory. That's right, I'm exploiting Mother Earth. But, you know, we humans haven't gotten around to reckoning it too much yet. I'm sure she can take it. She'll take it, she'll like it. Mm. That's right. Sexy, sexy Ernst. Anyways, uh, let's go talk to our good friend, Mercator. We have seen a lot more of the world since the last time we talked to him. Maybe he will be, uh, impressed. So, Captain Ernst, have you gotten your sea legs yet? Mm, you could say I have. <laughs> uh, let's give you a report. Thank you for all your hard work. Here's your pay. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. And then again, there's not a whole lot more of the world we're going to have left to discover. Well, I say that we have all this. We have most of the world left to discover, but it, yeah. It's pretty good pay. Pretty good pay for pretty good days of work. Bow wow. Bow wow, baby. Uh, I'm going to hop on the bar here real quick. Um, I'll meet people. Why not? Look at all them people. Jacques Brew. Oh, hey there, Mitty. I was left on the high seas. I'm Jacques. I sail with the battle fleet from Holland. Um, what's going on? I heard there aren't any really capable sailors in Dadzig. I wouldn't tell him that, though. Alright. Let's get going. Okay, so 4 o'clock. Mm, maybe we better go get here to, uh, the old Governor General before he, uh, you know, gets all honorary at us. Welcome, Page Von Borg. Please proceed into the Royal Hall. Let's proceed into the Royal Hall, as the man told us to do. Hey there, Ruler. How's it going? Hello there, Ernst. I've heard quite a bit about you lately. You look like someone I can count on. I'd like you to do a task for me. I'd like to make a treaty with Portugal. Please go as my messenger. Yeah, okay. If you complete this task, I will give you a new title. Sweet. So, I have to go deliver a message to Portugal, I guess. I'll tell you what, before I do something like that, I should probably... Um, I should probably go to the bar, for one. I know, folks. Any excuse, right? Actually, while I'm here, and I have all this money, why don't I go to the uh, ship shop? See if I can get any uh, ships in ship shape. What brings you to the shipyard. Uh, what kind of ships do you have? We have five E ships for the sale. They're all Hansa Cogs. Yeah. It does not stack up. I'm not buying any of these things. What if I asked you to build a new ship? Oh, you can afford a new ship? I don't know. I just thought I'd see what you could make. Carrack. Large trading ship. No, no, no. I will not order that model. Eh, maybe I'll remodel the one I got, though. The load capacity. Which ship? Let's reconfigure the dune. We'll change you... Got charge you 3,000 gold pieces to change the cargo capacities. Is that okay? Um, sure. How many bunks for the crew? Um, I'm gonna say... It takes 25 people to run the ship, right? I'll go ahead and, uh... have 60 bunks. Space for how many guns? No guns. Is this okay? Wait, 340. Eh, you know what? It only gets us 20 guns. Forget it. Oh. I'm, uh, I'm locked in now. Well, alright. 60. Makes 
take space for how many guns? There's no guns. Is this okay? A ship. None. Now then, let's take a look at the ship. Well, let's take a look at my money, too. Well, actually, it didn't cost really that much. Okay, so I believe that means that we are now... Uh, we have too many kids in the tub, is that right? Um, assigned crew. Oh no, one of them automatically got uh, moved off task. Uh, let's say 50-50. That is okay. Alright, so now we got room for 60 crew. We don't always need to have 60 crew. It'll be handy to have in case of, uh, you know, needing to have it. Now then. Um, let me come here, and Melanie is our busiest waitress. You'll have to tip her 10 gold pieces first. That's fine. I'm going to tell her some stories. I want to tell her some stories to see whether or not talking to her, I can find out the value of these stories. <laughs> Let me tell you about the Clay Mosque, baby. Supposedly the ruins of the Golden City in the Sahara. Time is taken its toll, but that's alright. Wow, that's so exciting! I wonder what kind of people lived there long ago. Um, Clay Mosque? I'll tell you about it again. Ah, it doesn't tell me the rank. So, I guess no. That's all right. I'll tell her about this stuff anyways. Diaz's monument, you remember that? It must have been quite a sight to see. Yeah, baby. It was all right. How about the iguana? You interested in that? A large scaly lizard measuring about six feet in length. <laughs> yeah. Wow, it's exciting. Did it bite you? Um, it bit, but it did not bite me. <laughs> Amazon water lily. Wow, that's so exciting! What an interesting plant! Alright, so, uh... Let me ask you info. What do you want to know? Port info. Well, that's a secret. What do you want to know? Well, fine. I gotta tell you some more stories until, uh... You tell me about that stuff. My anaconda don't want none unless you got some buns, son. Oh, no, not son. That would be terrible. I mean, it wouldn't be terrible. It would not be up my alley. Wow, it's so exciting. It's beautiful. Yeah. That's right. Ah, the piranha. Friggin' piranha. I was not scared. I was annoyed. That piranha took so much of my... Dudes. And the It's a reptilian lizard. A reptilian bird. Thought to be an ancestor to these birds. It was unable to fly, but it might have glid. Aren't you scared? No. I'll tell you more stories. I'll tell you about Toucan Sam. It feeds mostly on fruit. Toucan Sam did not bite me. I'm not fruit. How many times did I have to tell you about that? Apparently I have to tell you about the Toucan twice. I just gotta tell her about a whole bunch of stuff and see whether or not, uh... She, uh, loves me for it. How about the great oak? They hunt the bird for its tasty meat. It did not bite me. Now, I would like to know some things. About ports. You can buy modern navigation instruments in this town. What do you want to know? Job info. If you are looking for the Palace of Portugal, try Lisbon. I believe it's around 39 degrees north and 9 degrees west. So there you go. I just wanted to make sure that, uh... Lisbon is the place I needed to go. I figured it probably was, but you know. <sighs> the uh, governor general didn't specifically say. He just said, take a message to Portugal. Well, my in Portugal covers a lot of ground in this day and age. Uh, anyhow, let's get going, shall we? Yeah, I suppose I should have... Tried to get some goods or something, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I still need to uh, get rid of some of this uh, food supply. Do, do, we're going away to Portugal. We're going upon a mission. So, uh, the year is 1523. I, I will note that I recognize uh, at least one or two people uh, mentioned to me, hey, our... Crew was paid 50 gold. 
that um, I should uh, bear in mind that there is a time limit to the game. Pretty sure the time limit is. I think you need to get everything done by like 1554 or something like that. We've only actually been at the game for about a year, maybe two, in uh, game time. So this game is actually still young. That's what I'm trying to say. Capital of Portugal. Portugal of Capital. Well, that. I could go to the bar, or I could just, uh. I could go in here. I could go in here and tell them about my secrets. I could try to go to the castle, and they would be. It's locked. The palace is closed. Alright, well, I can't give them my message then. Will you guys listen to me? Oh my gosh, they will. Butler Marco, may I help you? Uh, yeah, I, buddy, I got a contract. I'll take a contract. As long as you have a contract with us, you can't sell your discoveries to any other nobleman. Do you agree to the terms of this contract? I'm looking forward to hearing exciting news from you. Here, I'll tell you about two of my discoveries. Um, I did look at a fact. I tried not to find out too much information, but people have been telling me some of my discoveries are worth more than others. I do have one S-rank discovery, and that is this thing, the giant ground sloth. Slow-moving hairy mammal with sharp claws. Rumor has it this 20-feet tall creature walks upright, feeds on leaves and branches. What? You discovered the giant ground sloth? You are amazing! You are the world's greatest adventurer! You are the best ever! This is hardly enough to reward for such a marvelous feat, but please accept these... 100,000 gold pieces. Okay. Uh, what have you discovered? Wow, 100,000 gold pieces. Um, and then I think, uh, I don't think it's a uh, an S-rank discovery, but the Archaeopteryx is, I think, an A-level discovery or something. Hmm. Super! You discovered the Archaeopteryx. I knew we could count on you. Here's your award of 22,500 gold pieces. Okay, uh, quite a step down from the S-class discovery, but, uh... But... <laughs> yeah, you could say that, uh... It was worth coming here and talking to that gent about the giant ground sloth. You could say that, alright. 130. Jeez, at this point I might as well just go to the friggin... The item shop is closed. Actually, I should probably just tuck in for the night. Yeah, what? Well, I'll come in here and then I'll leave. Oh no, now it's 3 a.m. Now I can't get the special item. Darn it, it's closed. Well, fine then. Going into the harbor shop again and leaving right away. And hopefully, when it's 4 in the morning, I hope it's only 3.30. Now it's 4.30. Will the palace be open now? People are wandering around. Maybe the king is early to rise. Welcome, Page Von Bohr. Please proceed into the royal hall. That's right. I get some respect now, son. I'm going to meet the ruler. A treaty. The Dutch governor general always has good ideas like that. Please tell him I am in favor. Alright. I guess that's all I had to do. I delivered a message! Yeah! And you know, while I'm here, might as well get a ton of rock salt. How may I help you? What can I do for you? What can I do for you? That's okay. Here, rock salt is the local specialty. Yeah, I'll buy some. That price is acceptable. Uh, that price isn't acceptable, actually. How about just... 42? Um, how about 43? I can't sell that low. How about 44? Alright, 44. Wish it. This one. You know what? Let's just go ahead and s fill up the darn thing. Why the F not? 
we don't have more space in the hole. That's fine. Going back anyways. Going back to Brooklyn. I mean, uh, you know, Amsterdam. Oh, there, matey. Will you be shoving off? Yeah, I think I'm going to. We won't be able to sail for long. We'll be able to sail for long enough. Quit acting so doom and gloomy. I do keep... no, no, I'll go back to the Governor General first. I mean to go to London, because I keep being told that there's a good bookkeeper there. So maybe I should check it out. Probably do that before this video is over. Alright, back to Amsterdam, baby. Back to Amsterdam, now quickly. Before... Before the king closes down for the night. Welcome, Page Von Boer. Please proceed to the Royal Hall. Sure thing. I'm gonna meet the ruler. So he accepted my treaty? Good work. As a reward, please accept this title. On this day forth, you will be known as Squire Von Boer. Yes, I'm a moving on up. Um, no. Okay. That's all he wants right now. That's all he gets right now. <laughs> Alright, nine in the evening. I'm gonna guess that, uh, that is closed. That's fine. I will, uh, sleep. Sleep until the morning comes. Is it bedtime for you sailors? No, it's a different guy. It's Willem Hein. What do you want with me? I'm Commodore Hein of Holland. I command the battle fleet. Alright, Willem. You enjoy doing that. Oh, you should tap. Please make yourself at home. Um, sure. I'll check out when you say, lady. You're the boss. You choose your sauce. At, uh, KFC. I don't even know if they do that anymore. The KFC flavor station. I never actually went and experienced whatever that was. I just remember having heard it in their, uh, advertisements. Gonna come back over here and see if the Governor General Hall wants to say anything. Well, Squire Von Boer, please proceed into the Royal Hall. Got some discoveries I could tell you about if you want to hear. I'll meet the ruler. Uh, he doesn't want to tell me about anything. Well, fine. Or he doesn't want me to tell him anything. You know what I'm trying to say here, folks. Alright. Time to go sell some stuff. How may I help you? Well, hang on. Let me, uh... Double check. How much did I pay... For... The rock salt? 44 gold pieces. Alright. How may I help you? You can buy this rock salt. Buy it. Buy it. Buy it. Buy it. 63. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good with that. How about 317 lots? <laughs> Look at the money, folks. I'm sure that that's not actually an obscene amount of money, but it honestly is probably as much uh, money in ingots as I've ever had in this game without uh, just cheating at cards or something like that, using save states or, you know, nefarious tactics. So, we don't have any goods to sell. That's okay. Glass beads is the local specialty. We have iron ore. I feel like we could probably make profit off of iron ore. But I'm not positive. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and buy some iron ore. Iron ore will cost you that much. Is that price okay? No, it's not okay. How about 120? All right, he accepts. This is the ship. We're going to purchase... 350 lots. It is a lot, I understand. Oh no, I'm already starting to mess up the economy here. Glass beads cost three now. 
And let's fill up with some food. Did you know that the Governor General of Holland is looking for me? Again? I was just in his, like, office. Office. Uh, maybe palace. No, office. Alright, Governor General of Holland, now what do you want? Can you give me another title or something? Welcome, Squire Von Boer. Please proceed into the main hall. Hey there, Gub. What's going on? Hello there. So I've heard quite a bit about you lately. You look like someone can count on. I'd like you to do a task for me. I've heard you're quite an adventurer. I want you to travel the world and find rare things. But your discoveries are for me only, so don't tell anyone else. Is it okay if I already told a strange woman at the bar? If you complete this task, I'll give you a new title. There you go, buddy. You discovered Victoria Falls? Nice work! The world is still full of marvelous things. Go and find me something else. There you go. You discovered Diogo's monument? That's fantastic! Please accept this title. From this day forth, you will be known as Knight von Boer. Knight von Boer. Oh, okay. He's not going to, uh... have me do anything else for him. Now then, I wonder if before I go back to, uh, like if I go back to the Harbor Keeper, if he's going to tell me the Governor General is still looking for me. Uh, let's check out our discoveries. Um, let me make sure the Archaeopteryx is the... Yeah, it was an A value. So, really, there is just that big A gap between the A value discoveries and the S value discoveries. But I do believe that, uh, the Giant Ground Slot's the only S rank one that I've gotten so far. So, anyhow... Seems like a good time to hit the waves, unless the Governor General of Holland is looking for me. In which case, I can go back and talk to the Governor General of Holland again. <sighs> Governor General of Holland, I wish you would make up your mind about whether or not you're done talking to me. Welcome, Knight von Boer. Please proceed into the Royal Hall. Please proceed into Royal Albert Hall. Hey, what's going on, man? Hello there, Ernst. I've heard quite a bit about you. I can count on you. I'll be there for you. Okay. Give me a title. You discovered the clay mask. Nice work. The world's still full of marvelous things, though. Diaz's monument? That's pretty good, too. Fine. The iguana? Hi, fantastic. I love iguanas. From this day forth, you will be known as Baronet Von Boer. I'm a baronet, folks. That's awesome! Alright. Now that two in the afternoon. Let's go to the Harbor Helper and have him tell us that... Oh, wow. He's actually had his fill of discoveries. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Let's starve. We leave no provisions. What? I have provisions, don't I? Fleet info. Wait, no, that's not what I meant. Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. Well, here, let me supply that. That's right, I hadn't supplied. I'd left a room, but not actually supplied. Seven barrels of water and nine barrels of food will cost me 153 gold pieces. Will we be shoving off? Sure, let's shove off. We won't be able to sail for long. Shall we cast off anyways? Yes. Let's do. All right, folks, I feel like London is calling. It's a short hop, I know, but... Commodore, we're going to stop in London. Is that okay? Are you sure? But yeah, London is, uh, in Northern Europe, it is the capital of England. Haha, <laughs> yes. Hey, what's going on there? Wool from England is made into textile in Amsterdam. Oh, uh, you're a trader, aren't you? Wool is a specialty. Let's put us in. I say, sniff, sniff. Joe, the Duke of Modena in Pisa is notoriously stingy. Alright, that's enough of this fun. It's great fun, right? Um, how may I help you? Um, what did I, well, what did I buy the, it was 124, was it not? Gotta check every time, folks. Get an Imperial Order, okay. Get out Imperial Order. Get out another Imperial Order. 120 gold pieces each, okay. 
Tell me you'll buy the iron ore for uh, 120 or more. Pay me money. Wool is global specialty. Oh wait, I have to sell you the iron ore first. Crap, you have iron ore here. The dune. Yeah, you're not gonna give me a profit on the iron ore. Well, fine then. Fine. I'm not gonna get mad. I'm just gonna go to the uh, shipmaker here. How's it going? What brings you to this shipyard? Uh, what kind of ships you got hanging out? We have five year ships ready to sail. <gasps> There's a sloop! Small, high performance sailing ship. It has the capacity to carry guns for battles. And look, folks! It only has, it has like a miniature, miniature crew requirement. This is also a very good type of ship, from what I've been, of what I've been told. Um, who will buy this one? How much do you want for it? Sixteen one sixty. That's a bargain ship. I think it'll accept as low as thirteen six forty eight. All right. Well, how about thirteen five? Wow, 13-5? I totally got a new ship. Time to name your ship. Well, I'm sorry, folks, if people have given me uh, good names for ships. But, I mean, this is a sloop. You pretty much have to name it the John B. It is the sloop John B. So let's hoist up the jumpy sails. Alright, don't forget to hire a crew in the cafe. Ah, you know what? I don't need to hire no crew in no cafe. I saw you now ship at the shipyard, I did. Oh, good for you, lady. Um, what I'll do instead is uh, just shuffle the ship stuff around. Let's, uh, oh. Almost forgot my primary reason for coming to England. Coming to London. Just to come to the bar. Let's see what they had here in terms of fine sailors. Robert Wilde, William Clive, and Charles Grafton. Ahoy there, matey. How is life on the high seas? I'm Robert. I sail with a battle fleet from England. Yeah, what's going on? I heard there aren't really any capable sailors in Copenhagen. Well, that's cool. William Clive. Ahoy there, matey. How's life on the high seas? I'm William. I sail with a battle fleet from England. Well, a navigator called Fitch was looking for a job at Bristol. Alright there, buddy. Charles Grafton. Oh there, matey. How's life on the high seas? I'm Charles. I sail with the battle fleet from England. Gossip. Do you like this port's fish and chips? Yeah, it's, they're awesome. Yeah, those are all the people that are here, though. Nobody in London looking for a job? I offer competitive rates. And I would not mind a bookkeeper. Crud, was it Walter Lawrence or Lawrence Edwards? What do you want with me? I'm Commodore Lawrence of England. I command a battle fleet. Well, it wouldn't have been him then. What do you want with me? Oh, I'm a vagabond sailor. I'm going to gasp with you. Well, a navigator now called Ego was looking for a job in Hamburg. Well, wait. I wanted to talk to you too, though. I'm a vagabond sailor. Do you want to work with me? Would you like to join our crew for the next voyage? I'll work for you if you pay me 60 gold pieces a month. That's too bad. What do you want with me? Oh, I'm a vagabond. Would you like to work with me, though? You pay me 60. No. Lawrence? Would you like to join my crew? You know what? I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna come back. Vagabond Sailor, work for me. 
You are stuck on this 60 gold pieces, man. Let's look at the fleet right now. Fleet info, please. Yes, I do right now have the Sloop John B that is not actually being commanded by anybody. The John B. Hans is captaining it, but it has no crew. We're going to have to fix that. Don't worry, though, folks. We will. We will. But you notice what I really liked about the John B there, or rather, the Sloop as a ship. It's got a decent cargo capacity, but you can run it with a skeleton crew, which means that even if you fill up your, you know, the the pass the crew capacity at full, so that you've got a couple of extra people in case a monster eats them or something like that, as seems to sometimes happen when you're voyaging around the world from Kiev to Carolina, um, you'll still be okay-ish, you know, like. You have plenty of room for food, so you can go for a long, long stretch. Like, the John B would be a good ship to sort of cruise the Arctic Circle or something like that. All those little inlets uh, in and around, uh, you know, the Northwest or the Northwest Territories in Canada and around Greenland there, all those little tiny little nooks and crannies. Explore the Hudson Bay, all that good stuff. Anyways, um, I think I'm going to stop it right here for right now, um, because, well, let's see, I got a couple of situations here. I got a whole bunch of iron ore that um, I thought I might be able to sell in England, because I thought they might be able to use it to make stuff, but then again, they produce their own iron, I'm sure, so, mistake there, perhaps, but um, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to offload this iron ore. I gotta check whether or not Lawrence Edwards there is the guy that I need, and whether or not he's really worth all that money. And, um, I'm gonna have to rearrange the crew now for the, uh, the Sloop John B. And, uh, maybe after I've done some of that stuff, I might, uh, get, uh, ready to do another adventurous voyage apart across part of the world. Who knows, folks? I sure don't. But we'll all find out next time, folks, or maybe you'll tell me. <laughs> Maybe I'll do whatever it is that you say. I don't know. But, um... Uh, we'll do it, folks. This is uh, Bobo the Vulture. This is Let's Play Uncharted Waters New Horizons. And I thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye now.